we're in Corpus Christi today with Rachel's parents, and we're going to be spending a little bit of time at the beach. Woke up this morning, and Rachel's dad was already gone. I got a text message from him a little while later saying, hey, I got some bait. I'm down at the culvert. I was still kind of waking up. I had to get a cup of coffee. I didn't quite understand what he was saying, but shortly thereafter, I received another text message saying that this is happening and that I'm missing out. I didn't quite realize that what he meant in the prior text, he was out fishing and I am allowed to join him if I so desired. <laughs> he just straight up went and left without me. So now he's two fish deep and I am speeding out to the culvert so that I can get out there and get into some fish with him before the bite turns off. Unfortunately, now I am basically at this point down two fish. So that's the challenge for right now. We're going to make a little challenge out of this. I am going to see if I can play catch up with Rich. I need to catch two fish to catch up to him, three to beat him, unless he's already caught more fish. Let's see if I can do it. There he is. We had so much fun coming down here a couple of weeks ago. We had to come back and check the spot out again. If nothing else, it's absolutely gorgeous down here. Well, if nothing else, I can leave shape. Huh? <laughs> Some fuckers have been here all morning. I saw a flash at first, I thought it was damn throw. He got, he got your shrimp. Yeah. He got your shrimp in his mouth. <laughs> the old needlers. You had to go with the dinner shrimp, huh? No, that's just one of the That's one of the little ones. Trout just wait their tail that one, all I can tell. There's hundreds of fucking bait fish right here. We don't have a casting net or anything, do we? I got a cast net. I have a prime time Fitech cast net. Probably too small for it. Guarantee you that somebody be eating those things. Yeah, I was hoping for it. Biggest needlefish you'd ever seen. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. Bye, buddy. All right, so Rich and I had a whole lot of fun hanging out over at the culvert, but by the time I'd got there, the bite had kind of turned off. So we went back, picked up the girls, and now we are headed out to Padre Island National Seashore. But our goal now, since I was not able to play catch up with Rich earlier, is to get some dinner for tonight. So let's see if we can catch some fish. Uh, we have a beautiful day out here at the beach today. One of the best I've seen in a long time. Tunnels. <laughs> well, you got the first one, so. It's a nice fish. It is a nice fish. 
avocado. We're gonna cut it up for bait, or we gonna? Oh yeah, the that's a nice fish. He's pretty. From eating all the garbage floating around out there. <laughs> At least. I'm going to take that one that we got yesterday. I'm going to use them whole, but I'm going to trim them up a bit. That means I am headed out, and hopefully we can bring the score up to 1-1-0. One, one, so while we're fishing for whiting out here, I'm also going to go ahead and set up a shark rig. This will also work for redfish. It's just a, a triple swivel. I've got a wire leader on here. It's all wire leader because of the sharks. On there, I've got a double circle hook set up, just in case we want to make sure that we get a good hook set. And then down on this end right here, I'm going to be putting a 12 ounce spider. The bait, going to be using almost fresh whiting. I'm going to trim him up a little bit. There's a little bit of a current out here. So I want to make sure he drags good in the water. The way I'm going to go about doing that is by first kind of cutting off his tail a little bit. And that top fin. And then I'm going to fillet him, but I'm not going to cut it off right here. Stick that right down in there. Just like I'm filleting him, but I'm going to leave the fillet on. Put it right out next to where mom and daddy and I are. Yeah. They like to attract in the fish, so I use them. <laughs> now it's going to travel just fine in the water, but it's also going to release a lot of scent. That's going to draw in whatever it is I hope to be finding out there. Feel natural, just like that. So, as is always, once again, dad's killing it. Paul's headed out to try to fix the shark line. And sad little Rachel Burt. Big zero. My new strategy is going to be to take a bunch of shrimp out with me. Oh, Dad also got a hard head. So actually, he is three up from us. Coming in with the whiting. Man, we're doing some good. Uh, some good time tonight. So let's go see what Dad got. It is crazy out here right now. Okay. More tacos. Okay, so we're gonna use these things that our friend Jen gave us. They're like six pack holders. Yeah. We're bringing shrimp out to the bar. I can't keep running back and I'm falling over too much. You see me go down? Oh, I'm yeah. I, I do. <laughs> you doing? Got a big coquina. Get coquina? Yep. Are you gonna make some fish stew? Yes. Yes, ma'am. So, that's gonna take a little break. <laughs> I'm gonna grab a big skin, Jennifer. My new idea is one for shrimp, one for fish. And right now I'm gonna go over and help Paul with the shark rod. Because it is all caught up. I'm probably super close to my face, so sorry about that guys. Awesome. I'm super stoked I got a bait out past the third sandbar where I absolutely love having my bait. Unfortunately, all this seaweed's problem, it's piling up on my line way out over there and burying it, causing it to bend over like this. I'm able to go over there and clean the weed off the line, which is good. It means I can keep my bait out there, but it also means I'm not able to join Rich and Rachel. They're going to be weight fishing out on that sandbar. And that pumps me out. I wanted to be out there with them, but I'm going to have to... Uh, I'm gonna have to put in sweat labor on this guy. You're pushing in the water and he gets a fish. Yeah, your your dad is uh he, he is freaking killing it today. Did you, did you see what happened out there? With you guys getting tackled? <laughs> Just stay down. <laughs> stay down. You want to move it. That's for times we need to go All right. 
right, well, unfortunately, uh, Rachel's parents got to get back to Austin today. So they need to be leaving just a little bit early here. We are going to go ahead and pack it in and head back. But before we do that, I haven't had any big hits on the surf rod. But you never know, there could be something small sitting there that had chomped down on that bait, just wasn't enough to be able to tell on the rod. So now is the time when we cross our fingers and see if we accidentally got something with the surf rod. If not, we landed a whole bunch of uh, whiting. It wasn't a bad day, but let's see if we were able to put a nail in the coffin of a great day. That's what 150 pounds of seaweed looks like. Yeah, we got some off. Rachel got some off already. Something actually got our bait. Well, that sucks, but there's something out there. There's no way of telling with all the weed on it. Oh, the, we got birds working in the surf. Oh, well, they're feeding on whatever corpse I just left in the surf. <laughs> I didn't get the monster beast of a catch that I was hoping for, but at the same time, it's uh, that time of year where surf, the seaweed, the currents. I do have a little bit of a surprise for you back at the house. If you hang tight, just another two seconds. I do want to show you something. That might make your day, though. That, that'll make this fishing trip look just a little bit cooler. Yeah, yeah, not everything gets filmed. All right, so we're back at the house here. And I know, like, I don't know, this is kind of weird to me. So we're still, you want to see the, you want to see the, this is the construction stuff that I'm working with on the house over here. It's a disaster. We do fishing videos. Yeah, this is one of the most interesting and kind of like fun parts of the whole experience to me. So we're going to go ahead and include it on this one. I enjoy filleting fish. I really do. Like if I could do it for a living, uh, I, I would fillet fish for a living. And I learned how on crappie and bluegills. And you, you know, y'all know, you get 100. But you still have to go right to the bottom. You might get what the sheep said. It's a, it's a, it's Let, let's like, not say numbers. Let's say okay. where we get a limit. Well, we've got like eight people in this. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> that's what they're trying to say. That's what I'm saying. All seniors are like, huh, 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 huh. Yeah, like, we do get a good He's a He Man. Like. Yeah, and He Man. And you then I skin? get. Yeah, I'm going to skin. Okay, so off the way. That's kind of my skin. point. My point was the way I skin. I'm getting the, crap on how I skin. What is it? The family that fillets together? Stays together. That is freaking adorable. All right, we're gonna get to. We got hat on. We're gonna do some play in here. You want to get hosed down? You hot. I had better get like 90% retention out of this video. <laughs> this ain't working. <laughs> I got this table. It's a ramshackle jerry rig that will set up and it is way too short for us tall people and we got way too much to play. So we're going to switch things around here. I'm going to turn the truck around. We're going to do it at the bed of the truck. She's going to get a fillet board and we are going to take a different approach to filleting these fish. Much better. Okay, so we were talking earlier about a, a little thing that I would like to show you. I, I would like to go ahead and, and do that now. You see, earlier in the video, Rich sent me a message talking about the fish that he was catching and how I needed to be out there catching fish with him. 
Let me show you this. Them's are the fish that he was talking about. Sorry about the flies. We're just not here for okay. That is a heck of a red fish. Look at that guy. That's some great red fish. He is totally full of it. He didn't catch that. <laughs> Somebody gave him that fish because they wanted to go out and catch a whole bunch more and they'd already bagged out for the day. So I'm calling it Rich. You didn't catch anything. You did not beat me. I'm taking that back. You did not win the challenge. Hold on. No, wait a minute. Okay, technically he did. He, 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 he outfished me. He caught more fish than I did. And he did walk away with more fish. And that is an awesome freaking redfish. That is the I'm absolute not, top end slot. I'm not even talking about this. I'm talking about literally the top more fish than all of them. But yeah, literally all of us. Why didn't we just flayed? That was him. Did it. So good job, Rich. I appreciate you feeding us for tonight. But I call bullshit that was not your redfish. And those are not your trout. He never said it was. <laughs> he did when he tried to no, get me out there fishing with him. Yeah. Of course. And if you're out there, All right. So we got some redfish to flay. Here we go. The camera overheated, so I wasn't able to get you know a whole lot more footage of flays. I didn't think anybody'd be too too concerned about that. But I do want to I, I, I want to say something to some people that I, I really really appreciate. Appreciate you more so now than <laughs> than I have in the past. Um, I got laid off from work. Um, OPEC killed the gas prices. I was in the oil field, and I got laid off as a result. It really really sucked. I was really depressed there for a while. I'm still hurting from. I'm still reeling. Personal of the game, I'm not mad at anybody. I love the company I was with. I love the people that I worked with. They were amazing and awesome. And, you know, that's just how things go. It sucks. So now I'm out there and I'm looking for another job and everything. When we talked about it on the live stream, a couple people uh, did some really nice things for us. And I want to say Jason Haven with uh, Saltwater Action Gear. Dude, I really, really appreciate you, man. Thank you uh, for everything you've done. Katie Rios, stream, she also joined our Patreon. Katie, really, really appreciate you and your family, ma'am. Thank you. If anybody else would be interested in doing Patreon, we could use it now more than ever. Check it out. Stanley Orchard on Patreon. Every little bit helps. Emily, that's why I wanted to come Yeah. <laughs> We're available. Yeah, you want to get in on that? We'll take it. Katie, uh, we are going to get together and do some fishing, ma'am. So you know. Uh, WTF Mike, uh, Mike Albrecht. Dude, uh, mm -hmm. I, I, you too, man. Uh, I thank you very much. You were sitting there and being like the mod from hell on the live stream. <laughs> that, that was really and rad. Dude, thank you. Thank you. Just, yeah, we, we all love you, Mike. Uh, a and J Outdoors, dude. You're my, you're, you're my, my buddy, and I, I really appreciate having you around. Everybody in the uh, Po Boys Outdoor Society. Oh yeah, no. Rachel brings up a heck of a point. I did video footage of her, get, of her getting. Oh wow! <laughs> I punched her in the face and I got footage of her getting squirted with the hose. If that isn't worth some Patreon, I don't know oh what God. is. No, 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 no. And anybody who is sitting here and watching like this far into the video, I want to thank you very much. That means the uh, absolute world to us. Thank you. We appreciate that you enjoy hanging out with us. We like having you along for the company. As always, like and subscribe if you're okay with what you like to do. And there's something up here, maybe down here, maybe over there. I don't know. I never look at the camera. And we look forward to seeing you in that video in just a minute.